Hey everybody, uh, so I'm going to show you how to uh, send a transactional text message from your Adalo app. Um, this is really good for uh, order confirmations, order updates. Um, you can send welcome text messages, login codes, promotional or coupon codes, all kinds of different things. Um, but this is, uh, we're going to be using AdaStacks, which is a full, you know, full disclaimer, this is a product that I made. Um, but uh, we'll be using AdaStacks to do this. Um, and the way that we're going to do this is what you'll need here is just a, um, a paid version of Adalo so that we can get access to the custom actions feature of Adalo. Um, and then um, you'll also need an account with AdaStacks as well. You can sign up at adastacks.com. Um, and you can actually do this with the free version of AdaStacks as well with the 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 free uh, the free account. Um, all right, so let's get into it. Um, I've got uh, AdaStacks, my app open here. I've got my AdaStacks dashboard open, and I've also got the AdaStacks uh, kind of help guide here open as well, um, which we'll be using here in just a second. All right. Um, so let me just start out by going to uh, add a component, and I'm just going to add a button here. And then I'm going to go down here to add an action to this button. And we're just using this button to set up the custom action, right? You can do this on any component that has a click action. Uh, I'll go to custom action, and then I'll do a new custom action here. And let's just call this, uh, like, send welcome SMS, right? Uh, we'll go to the create here. I'll hit the next button. And for this API base URL, uh, we can actually find this in the transactional SMS documentation. Um, and you can get to this, uh, you can get to actually the, this documentation from this build area right here, if you just click on the help guide for each stack. All right, so let me get this. Uh, this is the, the URL here. So I will just copy this, make sure that's copied. Um, and then I will actually paste this right here. And you'll notice that we have some capitalized text here. And this capitalized text is um, actually replaceable. We're actually going to replace it with some inputs that we're going to put over here. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, this, our first one is just your API key. Um, so what I'm going to do is just create a text input here. And I'm going to call this your API key, or AdaStacks API key. And uh, if you're ever uh, lost about what the input should be. Uh, there's a table in each of the stacks uh, guides on what the input name, you know, the suggested input name, this can really be whatever you want, the input type, and then some suggested input test data. All right, um, so I'm just going to copy this name here, stick this in here. Oops, put it in the wrong spot. All right. Um, this is actually, this example value here is actually going to be my AdaStacks API key. So I'll click on account, and this is my API key here. I'll just copy this. We'll paste it right here. Click done. All right, so that's the API key. Let's do the two phone number. All right, so this is formatted as a number here. Um, and a quick note about this is that you don't need to include the plus sign, uh, but you do need to include the country code that it's going to. All right, and again, this is just test data, um, so this doesn't have to be, um, it does need to be a, a real number, uh, a real phone number, uh, but it uh, doesn't, this is not the phone number that w that it will always send the text message to, right? We can, we're about to change that and make that dynamic in a minute, all right? So um, usually this is just your own phone number, right? So that you can test with, all right? Um, so let me also add the text body, all right? So this is uh, the actual message of the text, right? So maybe you could say like, this is the actual message text. All right, so what I can say is, uh, welcome to my app. All right, so we'll click done there. And then the next thing that we need to do is these inputs that we just made, we're actually going to replace these this capitalized text with those inputs. So this is going to be AdaStacks API key. We will take out two phone and put in the two phone number. 
I'll take out the text body and put in the text body. All right, the method here is going to be a get, and there's nothing else that we need to fill out really. Uh, all we need to do is just run the test request. Um, and one thing to note about the test requests in, uh, using AdaStacks is that AdaStacks will always return a successful test. Um, and this is so that if you need to save your custom action and not lose all of that work that you did building it, you know, uh, making it, um, you can actually save it even if the if the test fails, right? Um, so I've made it so that it it's always successful. Um, but uh, do make sure that you pay close attention to ensure that you got a success message here. Um, uh, it, you can also find it down here in the show full response. Um, if it fails, a lot of times it won't show a fail message here. Sometimes it will show it down in here. Um, so just make sure that you pay attention to both of these. All right. Uh, but this was actually a success, and we can go ahead and save the custom action. So uh, how do how do you use it here in the uh, in the app? Um, well, let's say that I want my users to log in and be sent a text message. Um, if my users had a phone number here, what I could do? Let me just add a phone number. Uh, property here, right? And on my sign up form, I want them to actually put in their phone number, right? And when they sign up, what I'm going to do is we are going to initiate our send welcome SMS. And what I can do here is I can actually, uh, I don't need my uh, well, I would put in my AP, my AdaStacks API key here again. All right. Let's just paste that in there. The two phone number, this is going to be dynamic, right, from whoever the logged in user is. And the text body here is going to be whatever I want my user to, um, to get in their text messages, right? So I could even put their, their name, right? Hi, so-and-so, uh, welcome to the app. All right, and that's how easy it is to set up um, transactional SMS uh, in your app.